Revolution. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the final episode of diving into all of my rods here. I actually have both of my spinning rods left, so I'm going to dive into them and really show you what the difference is of why I designed each action. Okay, the, the, the spinning rod is a little bit different uh, than I would say uh, is, is different than the casting rods. The big thing with this rod, this is the, actually the 7.2 medium heavy. Um, I'm a big proponent of making things simple, easy. Like you need this for this, that for that, boom, done. Um, obviously I have a few rods that are very specific to certain particular baits that I throw a lot and that is very important. But for the most part on my spinning rods, I don't need a whole lot of actions. I mean, there's guys that have 20 different actions of spinning rods, or five or 10. For me personally, I can do about everything that I need with these two right here. And that's what I like, okay? So as far as, you know, normally when you're throwing a spinning rod, you're using, or you're fishing uh, a finesse tactics, or you're fishing lighter baits that you might not be able to do with, um, you know, with a casting rod. Or the only other thing about advantage of a spinning rod is, is being able to have like a little bit more direct connect or being able to drop that bait down faster, like a drop shot, if I have a half ounce weight drop shot and I drop it down there to them, I'll use that spinning rod because I can get more line off of my reel when I'm dropping to them or pitching to them or whatever that is. It just seems to be a little bit, it's, it's, it's just a little bit better than a casting rod and it does a better job at that. So. Diving into this rod, this is this is a 7.2 medium heavy. This is the rod I probably use the most in my, seri in my series of spinning rods of the two. Reason for that is most of the time for me, I, I like a little bit heavier action. This is not a medium heavy action rod. This is a medium plus, okay? They call it a medium heavy because I wanted two rods that were basically medium action, but I wanted one heavier and one a little bit different. This is a parabolic action rod. It uh, has a parabolic action, doesn't have a super fast tip. It has a tip, but it does not have a super, super fast tip. It's more of a moderate action tip, so it has more of a delayed reaction. And the other thing is it has enough backbone. So what do I throw on this rod right here? Okay, number one, your shaky heads, okay? So everybody who's throwing a shaky head, you really have to set that reel down and set the hook. That is what I'm going to use on this rod right here. Heavier open hooks. I'll even throw like a half ounce jig head on like a, maybe like a three inch Largo shad. I'll throw this rod right here if I need if I need a little bit more backbone. As well as a drop shot with the finesse Nico hook. And what that is is basically while I'm Texas rigging my drop shots. When I'm Texas rigging my drop shots with that finesse Nico hook um, on a worm, like a like a drag and drop, a Guggen Bates drag and drop, that is when I'm going to use this rod. Uh, along with Nico rigging, when I'm fishing out offshore, I'm throwing a Nico and I'm I'm throwing a little bit heavier uh, heavier uh, weight in the in the worm, or I'm throwing it with like a little ball head, like a three sixteenth. That's definitely one of my favorites because again, I'm have more length to really have leverage. Um, I'll even throw this with with a with a small stick worm or four inch or a five inch stick worm when I'm down in Florida around cover. This rod just has a lot more power to it and ultimately I was gonna be able to pull those fish out of that little bit heavier cover. For a spinning rod um, and a spinning combo, that is what I really like this rod for. So I use this rod mostly for everything. Um, if I'll even skip boat docks with it and all those things. If you're a beginner at skipping boat docks, I would recommend the seven foot medium action. But, or if I'm throwing a super light Nico, like a 30 second or something like that. Oh, there you go. Hold up, careful now. We don't want to be breaking any rods today. I'm going to go with that seven footer. So the thing is, I do have that little hook hanger back there. And right here, what I have that in, on a spinner rod is completely different than my casting rod. I put that for my drop shots a lot. Any of my shaky heads, all of those things, I put that right there. Um, it stays out of my way. It's really what I like. It changes the little the look of it. And then I also the split grip in my spinning rods is, is really what I love that feel because I really split those two just that feel that it has is something that for me it works really well I have a direct connect on that blank as well as the Keegan guides these are the Keegan's 
Um, they've worked really well for me. I've been super impressed with them over the last few years of having this rod series, and that's definitely one. So that's the seven foot medium heavy. Um, I'll tell you, that's also the rod that I use for a stupid tube rig. Now Brody knows a lot more about that and Terry knows a lot more about that, but we'll dive into that later on in a tip video. I'm gonna have Brody actually film that one. So that'll be a little fun. Um, he's gonna do it himself because he uses it a lot more than I do. I That's what I like. He might like a seven footer. He might like, I don't know. He's gonna have to tell you, but see for me, I like a little bit heavier action pull into him. Um, now. This is the seven foot medium action spinning rod. Same thing, you got that little hook, like that little hook keeper right there. The big difference in this rod and that rod is it has a super fast tip. This rod right here is really what my drop shot rod for nose hooking, okay? What I mean by that is when I am nose hooking a drop shot, it is literally, if you look at the video that I have out, and, and, and I'll drop it in the description below, uh, of drop shotting. It is like, the no, when you nose hook your soft plastic, you it's open hook. And you set the hook, you pull into them, that's what I like. Okay, if I have a lighter, weight, lighter gauge wire in, of the nose hook that I selected, that's when I'm going to go to the softer tip, you pull it into them, zzz, you don't pull that hook out, it goes through, you're good to go as well as throwing a little small hair jigs, little smaller swim baits, quarter ounce weights. Um, when I don't have to drive the hook home, that is what, this is what I'm just pull setting, that is what I'm going to use this rod for. So basically anything that's open hook, um, that's not over a quarter ounce, that's when I'm gonna throw this. Now, I will throw a weightless, you know, wacky worm setup on this right here, um, but it depends on how big a soft plastic that I'm wacky rigging. So if I'm throwing like a six inch lunker log, I'm going to throw this rod right here, my seven two medium heavy. If I'm throwing my, uh, you know, if I'm throwing like a lighter, smaller slim shake worm, that's why I'm going to throw the seven footer right here. So, um, that is really the difference between the two. For me, the heavier, the heavier stuff, you're up to three quarters of an ounce, even three quarter, even like three quarter ounce tubes, I'll use that seven two medium heavy. Um, where the lighter stuff, uh, more finesse tactics, I'm using the seven footer um, medium action. So that is the difference between the two. They both have a reason, they both have a purpose. That is why I designed them. So hopefully I've answered all your questions throughout all of these. If you guys have watched them all, thank you so much. If, you watch, if this is the first one you have watched, there's a full series of these rods and what I've talked about and why I use each action. Um, so I'll try to drop a little link in the description below for that one as well. Uh, ultimately, we really truly appreciate all the support you guys give us day in and day out. Uh, we're on our way to a million. We've got a long ways to go, but we're gonna get there eventually. We don't know when it's gonna happen. Thank you guys so much for following along. See y'all next time.